What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like right now. It takes literally two seconds and it's free. And drop a comment saying hashtag Gold Squad. Um, or drop your favorite coin actually in the comments. Tell me some new coins. Tell me some new coins because I'm trying to, I'm trying to drop some money into some new coins. But let's look over the markets. We've got one piece of news coming out of XRP. We're going to talk about quant. We're going to talk about global ID and uh, the XRP card and HBAR. And let's just go. Uh, we've got Bitcoin 39.2 thousand right here. We are back above uh, the 1.6 trillion level. Um, I keep watching this number right here with the crypto, the total number of cryptos. I just keep watching that grow and it's kind of crazy how fast it actually grows. I remember when we crossed 10,000. I think I made a TikTok about it when we crossed 10,000 total cryptos. Now we got 45.6% uh, on Bitcoin dominance. Ethereum is doing very well right here in anticipation for the London update which should be tomorrow if everything goes to plan. Ethereum should be getting its London update tomorrow. And I, I think we may see a tiny pump, but nothing nothing insane on that day. Because um, I feel like we've already seen um, the effect of this baked into the price um, over the past couple of days. XRP, 72, uh, 72 cents right there. <clears throat> Bitcoin Cash... Sitting at a pathetic level of 543 bucks. I don't think my prediction on this is going to be right for this year unless Bitcoin does something crazy and Bitcoin Cash follows. But we check the top gainers. Who do we see back in the top gainers? Who's the biggest bubble right here? Quant. Yeah. Quant again. Okay, look at this. Quant is the biggest bubble and the biggest gainer right here. Once again. We have recovered all the way to 176. So literally, if you bought the dip, you're you're up. Okay, if you bought that dip just then, you could just trade and, and make some profit because you're back up 18% in one day. In one day. 18% in a day. Um, but that's what we're looking like on the market right now. The biggest piece of news, which I think is actually very big. I think this is actually very big. The judge has granted Ripple's CEO a motion or Ripple CEO's motion to obtain documents from Binance. So if you guys don't know, like Ripple is being sued, Brad Garlinghouse is being sued, and Chris Larson is being sued. There are three lawsuits going on. There are three. So I can't even imagine Brad Garlinghouse's life right now. He's probably not even sleeping. Um, probably not even sleeping. So, they have granted his motion to obtain documents from Binance. So basically, uh, the court will communicate with counsel to arrange delivery of the letters. So he's getting the documents from Binance. So it is insane that he has singled out Binance and he's roping them into this. So maybe we see something bad happen to Binance from this. I don't know. But he has singled out um, Binance and trying to get some documents from them. Um, which I think is a big deal. I think that is a big deal. Now let's move on to uh, Mr. Whale right here says Coinbase is now facing multiple class action lawsuits from some of the largest U.S. law firms that allege the company offered false and deceptive materials and committed securities fraud. So keep in mind these are class action lawsuits. They're not lawsuits from like the SEC, but apparently they are big u.s law firms um so i mean that's crazy that is actually crazy right there uh and it says uh multiple so there's multiple now olivia right here olivia says that quant holders are going parabolic and yet we are still early <clears throat> there are not even twenty-three thousand quant wallets xrp has three million wallets <laughs> and link has six hundred thousand 
XRP has 300 million wallets of, and like half of them are people just thinking they can get rich quick, right? I would say more than half of them, probably like 80% of them actually. So not even 23,000 people own Quant. This is how you want to position yourself in these coins, man. You want to be in, you want to be in here. You see where my mouse is right here, where there's like 10K holders and you're in before the wave. Now let's move on to Santa Quant, just to remind you about one of the biggest partnerships that Quant has, which is Sia, which is Sia. They are the, this is, Sia is basically like Swift in Europe. That's what Sia is. It's as equivalent of Swift in Europe, basically. Largest financial provider in Europe, collaborating with 570 plus banks, working with central banks worldwide. So this is a good reminder. Every time you feel down on Quant, just look at that. Now, Laura right here says Quant is at an, ac an awkward price. It's too high for the loads of coins noobs who don't understand market cap. <clears throat> it's not high enough to appear exclusive or, fear, fear, or feel aspirational to own a whole coin. Owning two or three or ten of something doesn't feel exciting to most people. This is the biggest facts I've ever seen. I retweeted this. Um, by the way, go follow my Twitter if you are not. <clears throat> I retweeted that because it's so true. This is such an awkward price. At one six on 176, that's like very awkward. Um, and I see how that is awkward. I would never buy at that price because I got in way before. Now, right here, I said, OMG, Quant is back in the top gainer spot. I don't think she knows what slowing down is. If you truly understand what Quant is, you would realize that even 170 is nothing for this project, in my opinion, of course. Yeah, 170 is nothing, but I, my bags were packed before this, so I am cool with sticking with my bag until it drops to a level that I think I should buy in. Now, look at this. Global ID. Spend money, fiat, crypto, whatever. Earn 2% cash back in XRP. What's not to love? So, I mean, somebody says I, I thought it was 5%. I thought it was 5% too. Um, but I guess you get 2% back in XRP. So that's like super attractive. I wouldn't spend your XRP with this or your Bitcoin or anything. I would spend fiat and earn crypto. <laughs> spend that little fake ass money and get some more fake ass money but it's the better kind which is crypto because crypto is some fake ass stuff too like all of this stuff is fake <laughs> that is one of my favorite talk topics to talk damn i'm stuttering my words topics to talk about is how money is just fake as shit like what are we doing dude we were playing for little paper rectangles um and look at this rihanna is now officially a billionaire wow Congratulations to Rihanna. Did it all herself. Um, here we've got a clip of Dr. Lehman Baird exposing a major flaw um, in the blockchain proof of work consensus. So let's take a watch of this. Um, and he explains why um, asynchronous Byzantine fault tolerance is needed for commercial crypto adoption in order to reach 100% transaction finality. Let's take a look at this and see what he says. Just going to say, for people at home, uh, maybe the beginners, when we talk about Byzantine fault tolerance and finality, on a blockchain, in theory, we're never 100% confident that a transaction is final because there could be someone out there mining a longer chain. So do you want to maybe talk about why that's really important for commercial application? Finality. On a blockchain, in theory, Sorry, we're accidentally 100 skipped. confident that a transaction is final because there could be someone out there mining a longer chain. So do you want to maybe talk about why that's really important for commercial applications? Yeah. So if you go and spend some money at a store before they give you the product, they'd like to know for sure that they're going to get to keep the money. And on a blockchain, if they put it in the block and it starts to build, but then a different fork of it starts to build and gets to be longer, that's the one that will count and your payment to the store won't count. And when do they know for sure that they can give you the product? Well, they never know in, in typical proof of work systems. They just become a little bit more sure then a little bit more sure and a little bit more sure, but it's never totally sure. And um, there have actually been rare cases where very long chains have ended up reverting and becoming stale because the other one became longer. 
What you really want is finality, where there's a math proof that at a certain moment in time, you know for sure that, that your coin has reached that store and now they can give you the candy bar you bought or the house that you bought or whatever. And, uh, and we get that within a few seconds. And then you're absolutely positive that it really has gone through. Of course, he adds that little edit at the end. <laughs> Thug life edit. Now, this is like super important though, because it seems like Lehman Baird is like red pilled. Like he, he already just is over the blockchain thing. And that's why he built Hashgraph. Cause he's probably, dude, this dude is a genius. Okay. He is a like quantum genius, like quantum genius, bro. Cause you can see when people ask him questions, like, look, look at this, look at his face while he gets asked a question. He already knows exactly what the guy's going to say. He knows his answer already. Like if you watch any Lehman Baird interview, you'll realize, okay, this dude is like computing the answer before it even comes out of his mouth, the other person's mouth. Um, so it looks like he's just red pilled. Like he already found the truth about how proof of work doesn't work and how all these systems are just trash compared to what he's built. Now, the last thing I want to put in here is Catherine Wu. She said Gensler really went live today to give us an all give us all a huge F U. In all seriousness, though, this is the most aggressive and hostile stance re US crypto regulation to date from the SEC magnitudes more than anything before and she gives a breakdown right here i'm not going to put this in here because it's long but you can read that but that is all we've got for today thank you so much for watching every single day and make sure you follow on instagram twitter youtube or subscribe on youtube um and that is all goodbye